Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at a simple example of using the map.abs function in Java. So once again I'm going to look at this problem from codingbat.com and I'm going to code in the browser itself, but if you want you can code it in Eclipse or any other ID that you're comfortable with. The good part about codingbat.com is you could just run the code on the browser itself. So let's look at the problem here. So we're given an integer n and we have to return true if it is within 10 of 100 or 200. So this integer n could be on either side of 100 and what we have to do is we have to make sure that if it is within 10 of 100 or 200, the code has to return true. So the function is already given here, so we have to write the code for this. So we will, it's a simple code, so we will start off with the return itself. So we're going to return if n is 10, within, lies within 10 of 100 or of 200. So how do we achieve this? To do that, we are going to use this math.abs function. So math.abs is going to return the absolute value of a, of a function. So 100 minus n. So if say n is 93, then 100 minus n is going to be 7 and math.abs is going to return 7. However, if say n is 105, 100 minus 105 is going to be negative 5, but math.abs is going to return the absolute value which is like once again going to be five. Now we are going to do, we're going to see if n is within 10 of 100 or 200. So we are going to do this, that we're going to compare if n lies within 10 of 100 first. And after we have done this, what we are going to do is we are going to compare with 200. Once again, we use the same thing, that is math.abs. In this case, instead of 100, we write 200 minus n and see if it is less than equal to 10. Now, we take this entire thing and we're going to use another parenthesis here. And this point, what we're going to do is we can just put the semicolon so that the code is syntactically correct. And then let us just press go. And as you can see, that it passes all the test cases here and that is the um, the good part about codingbad.com that whenever you run the code the code can run in the browser itself and it'll tell you which all test cases the code passed okay with this i'll complete this video thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe